Next Gen for three, yes! Coincidence or not, both Next Gen Pro Basketball games, NBA 2K14 and NBA Live 14, dropped their first major gameplay trailers in the same week. Since both are built from scratch for the new consoles, and of course because both are takes on the same sport, it makes for a fascinating apples to apples comparison. So let's take a look at the players, the emotions, the animations, the hoop, and the armpit hair to see which game looks hotter. Oh, and to be clear, we can only talk about the visual since we haven't actually played either game yet. We'll be getting that chance very soon. Steve Nash, Derek Rose, and Kobe Bryant all appear in both trailers. In 2K, we don't get a good look at Nash, but he looks decidedly less mannequinish than in current Gen 2K. The Hall of Fame bound point guard does get an extreme close up in NBA Live, however, and the results are not good. It's a bad sign when there's already a meme posted online of this Nash dropped into a Team Fortress 2 screenshot and he fits in perfectly. Here's D. Rose in NBA 2K14. We get a good look at him from head to toe and he is looking sharp. And here is the returning bull star in NBA Live. He's looking pretty snazzy here as well. Sweet dunk that he would absolutely do in real life. Check out Black Bamba in 2K14. Kobe doesn't show much emotion on the bench, but he looks pretty into his dunk. He must be pretty happy to be back on the court after that Achilles injury. NBA Live's Kobe seen in the post. He gets intense on his fadeaway. One more thing about NBA Live. Look at Tim Duncan. Where is the texture detail? His arms look like clay. And you see this all over this trailer, like right here with Kyrie Irving. Now let's talk emotions. Basketball is a game where emotions can run high and clearly a lot of dudes are fired up in NBA 2K14. King James, The Brow, Kobe, Iggy, they are stoked to be in this game. Meanwhile, the guys don't look quite as thrilled about NBA Live. They're expressive, but not nearly as passionate. So many quick cuts and edits make it tough to get a really great look at the animation in either game, but we get enough for a snapshot. In NBA 2K14, we can see cloth physics, Harden interlocking his fingers, KD's exact jump shot, and a fired up dunk from Andre Iguodala. Over in NBA Live, check out the dude on the far right baseline. He just kind of twitches. You can see more jerkiness in this clip too. As for cloth physics, they're there, but a lot more subtle than in 2K14, which may be a good thing. How about the hoop itself? You can see the inside of the rim in NBA 2K14. That's nuts! Looks like a lot of detail in the cylinder for NBA Live too. You can actually see the little metal hooks where the net attaches to the iron. You're busted, next generation consoles. Looks like we're not getting armpit hair in either NBA 2K14 or NBA Live. The final tally? As you'd probably agree, it's pretty one-sided in favor of NBA 2K14. Players, emotions, and animations are all way more technically impressive in the 2K14 trailer, while it's a push for the pit hair and the hoop. So what do you think? Sound off in the comments below and look for hands-on impressions of both hoops games, you know, what really matters, on IGN very soon.